What's going on guys? My name is Matt Ryan Sports Talk and today Call of Duty Ghost Multiplayer was revealed so without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just going to point out a couple things that I uh, noticed right away. This is live streamed right from the actual press conference that Infinity Ward and Activision's holding out. I believe it's in LA and you can see right here we get the first look at our actual multiplayer. Eminem did drop a new track called Survival over this uh, gameplay when they released it. It's the first time the world's heard it. But just to be safe, I'm not going to actually play the music because I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. You can see here you can actually customize your soldier. Uh, um, and that's allowing you to do not only cosmetic things, but actual gameplay. Um, it'll actually have ways to improve your gameplay. There's over 30 new guns. There's a new class entirely. There is um, 20 new killstreaks. Bunch of different new game modes you're going to see throughout here. One I specific specifically saw that I thought was cool is called Cranked. Um, you can build your own squad. You can see right here. I think, honestly, this looks a lot like Battlefield 3, to be honest with you. I think that's what it, it reminded me of most. Um, but, you know, that that's kind of not a bad thing because Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 seem to be winning over a lot of the Call of Duty fans because Call of Duty is getting kind of repetitive. So here's another one, a Search and Rescue, a bunch of new game types, but I do think the gameplay act itself actually feels a lot like Battlefield. It's much more strategic looking, um, just the feel of it, the, the colors and the graphics seem a lot more Battlefield-like. Another thing that's major is you can see the maps are actually, um, the, the buildings and stuff, and there's actually parts of the maps that can actually be destroyed and moved and uh, do things, are interactive, not like call, old Call of Duty where it's just the map is the map and you got to play the map. Battlefield's got all these movable things you can blow stuff up um, and that adds a whole new dynamic to the game and that's what Call of Duty is actually bringing now which is also much like Battlefield which I don't particularly like because it's copying them. Why would I want to play a game that's already had this for a while? Um, but then again, I know a lot of people will like it. And here's the one I was talking about, Cranked. I don't know exactly how it's played yet, but you can see here that this guy is uh, trying to get away from this other guy and blows up this thing, which, like Battlefield 3, you can blow up stuff. Right here, you can see the train gets blown up or the bus gets blown up. Um, and things move around the map. That's my point. It's like Battlefield 3 in that aspect. Um, but besides a couple of new game types and a bunch of new features, I don't really see any reason why this is going to be a great Call of Duty or better than any Call of Duty we've played before. I think it's getting boring for a lot of people, um, and even though they are implementing a lot of new guns, new um, killstreaks and stuff, I think it's going to be just like the Black Ops 2 was for me. It's going to be like a month or so worth of playing, and then it's going to get really boring, and it doesn't have zombies. So without zombies, I don't see a reason why this game's going to have a life or uh, a longevity to it. It's going to be playable for more than, you know, a month or so. As you can see right there, there was a girl, that little girl at the end. Not a little girl, but there was a girl. Uh, and that's that, guys. So if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Share it with your friends if they want to see the multiplayer. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Leave me a comment. What do you guys think about all the stuff we talked about? What do you guys think about the actual game itself, the multiplayer? Anything that I didn't discuss, leave a comment, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hello, what a minute, and nice to meet you. Got some questions I'm wondering, can you answer like?